Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have started seeing how the loudmouth that helped them open doors in the US has now turned on them, a royal commentator noted. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have suffered a considerable popularity drop in the United States following the release of Harry's explosive memoir, Spare, earlier in the month. Former Express.co.uk royal reporter Cara Kennedy noted the omission of the couple from Oprah Winfrey's birthday party could signal Harry and Meghan are now falling from Hollywood's graces. Kennedy said, A-list megastars gathered to celebrate the TV icon's birthday that was organized by Anastasia Beverly Hills, in unison with the brand's 25th anniversary. Kim Kardashian was in attendance posting some pictures on her Instagram story with the caption, Happy Birthday at Oprah. Sharon Stone said at best last night toasting you that you mean the world to the world. Happy Birthday! Don't worry Megs, we're sure it wasn't that fun. Writing in The Spectator, she added, to channel Oprah herself, is the exclusion an act of racism? Unconscious bias? Is Megan at home crying on the kitchen floor after patiently waiting by the mailbox all weekend? Prince Louis £8,000 christening gift from Prince Harry is a touching tribute to Diana it seems that Mr. and Mrs. Markle's loud mouths are now being used against them after a series of similar incidents over the last few years. Harry and Meghan have repeatedly boasted about their famous friends while making the transition from royals to celebrities. The Duke even dedicated a section of his memoir to paying tribute to pals James Corden, Chris Martin and even snubbing talk show host Oprah Winfrey. To D4 podcast host Kenzie Schofield pointed out that the Duke and Duchess could alienate their so-called friends by continuing to share details of their conversations or backtracking on previous claims. Should Queen Camilla drop consort from her title? You voted Schofield said, they are putting people in uncomfortable situations. While having Tyler Perry and Oprah in your corner is a huge help. I think most individuals don't want to pick a side and would prefer to avoid the drama. She continued, I think Spear and the Netflix documentary will ultimately hurt Harry and Meghan's relationships with the Hollywood elite. Did intensely private Beyonce give Meg permission to read a text message that she sent the Duchess verbatim to millions of Netflix subscribers? I highly doubt it. Schofield added, did Courtney Cox expect to one day be called out for magic mushroom chocolates in spare? Does Gail King enjoy being grilled by the internet when Harry tells ITV there isn't a royal racist after Gail appeared on morning television claiming that her friends, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, had receipts? And a Hollywood insider told The Spectator, the Sussexes equal drama. Everybody over here is starting to realize that they never intended on having a quiet life. 